Hi everybody, my name is David. I'm a co-play frontier from the Genesis Group. Just want to give you guys a market update. Um, like I said, I don't expect Bitcoin to go down until probably sometime next week. If it doesn't um, head down, like sometime next week, I would imagine it's going to be going up. Okay, uh, if you look at Bitcoin's pattern right here I mean it does look like another bull flag so if it bumps up you know you got a chance of it going up to closing you know mid 24,000 or 25,000 mid 24,000 25,000 uh, and that'll really kind of even for me want to actually start selling off some of my positions yeah you know I, I would be very tempted to sell off some of my positions in bitcoin uh, i would wait to see how the other altcoins react before i would want to sell them uh, but let's say if it does pump up to like tw mid 24 25 000, maybe i would sell off just a small portion of my bitcoin and then later if the altcoins pump up high, get a good pump, I might sell off some of my altcoin positions. And, you know, at the very best, which I said before, videos ago, yeah, maybe you could have it go up to like 27, 28,000. That's when I would really want to start selling off bigger portions of the Bitcoin I already have. That also includes my altcoins. Um... Because, yeah, I mean, you're not going to go from, you know, 15,400 and shoot up to like, you know, 27, 28, 30,000, maybe like 31,000 at best. And I think you're going to have a, a, a nice, slow or fast, grind, you know, pullback. So, but, yeah. Uh, if Bitcoin doesn't move down sometime next week, it has to go up, you know, yeah, so, um, but I didn't buy any positions. The only position I bought from this run-up is CoCoin, okay? And so if I look at CoCoin, CoCoin has looked terrible in terms of price performance so here you see cocoin just moving sideways at best <laughs> look at ethereum look at bitcoin look at ship look at solana look you look at kucoin and they all been yeah, it's not bad. They don't look all that bad. But then when you look at CoCoin, it looks horrible. So if Bitcoin, and that's the only position that I actually bought in on this run up. Because I told you all before, I was like over 45% in already. Um, and, you know, there's no reason for me to FOMO in. I'm already over 45% in. That over 45% is now more than 50% in terms of value, right? And so, yeah, if this thing has another leg that goes up, I would actually start selling some of my positions. And if it gets up to even like 27, 28 or higher, I'll be dumping higher percentages of the positions that I'm holding. But to buy into this... No, I'm not buying into this. Now, remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I do tell you what I'm doing or what I think will happen. I give you all reasons why. Okay. And the reason why I put a pretty good percentage of a position into CoCoin is because all these, like you look at Bitcoin, you look at all these other coins, they had these huge moves up. 
And Cocoin technically, if anything, you could say it moved down. So if Bitcoin does continue to go up, I would imagine Cocoin has to pump up. I don't know how high. But what worries me is if Bitcoin starts to move down next week, how far down Cocoin is actually going to go? That's a big worry. Um, another thing about Cocoin, anyway, I do have a stop loss. So if Cocoin hits a certain price, it'll automatically sell off whatever Cocoin that I'm holding. So I do have a stop loss on it. However, I'm hoping that you're going to have a, a bump up in price. That Cocoin will have a nice little parabolic or like one of those, or maybe a couple of days straight up pump and dump. I don't know what the whales are will actually do. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just, if I look at optical arts, I mentioned, yeah, Bitcoin can pass that yellow line, which it has, and <laughs> it has in the past, like here, it had a nice move above the yellow line, but eventually that line kept dragging Bitcoin down. Uh... It looks similar to the previous yellow line, you know. Now, honestly though, but this is from Optical Arts, which you guys know I do promote that channel. I think he provides a great service. But also, I told you I bought a course from Steve, Crypto Crew University. Now, Steve, you know, of course he says it, it can go down, but I think he seems to be more uh, optimistic and more bullish than Optical Arts. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. For me, like I said, I'm already, before this run, I was over 45% in, which now because of this um, move to the upside by Bitcoin, now that's more than 50%. But if Bitcoin goes above and gets, you know, mid 24,000, 25,000 range, yeah, I, for me personally, I would sell some positions of my Bitcoin and even maybe some altcoins. And then if Bitcoin has another move up, 27 to 30,000, 31,000, I will be selling off higher, more positions of my Bitcoin and, and the other altcoins. Um, but I still think there's a good chance uh, because RSI levels have been um you know it's high and it's been you know this move is is not like a short move okay you're you're we're going in you're looking at after this week four weeks of green candles four weekly green candles i want you to think about that you're not going to see too many times where you have four green candles okay yeah when when you have these four green or five six green candles when is a bull market okay we're talking about a bull market yes green candles everywhere wonderful yes bull market we are still in a bear market <laughs> and that's why i'm a bit more suspicious about all of that, you know, I am a bit more suspicious, okay, can we be in a reverse, uh, no, I, I think we're, we're still too early, um, and if, now, if you're on the Coke channel, you don't know about my personal channel, but my personal channel, I did list the things that I do predict to happen, and one of them was that Bitcoin would have a run-up, towards like thirty thousand dollars sometime this year and it'll it'll lose its gains and maybe this is that run-up because yeah obviously you would expect something like that to happen sometime in 2023 but really the big thing will be the halving in 2024 and so that's why i imagine yeah you have 
you're going to have four green candles, um, then I think statistically you would have a higher chance of the following, the fifth week, to be red than green. I'm not saying it can happen, but that's just my opinion. So there you have it. That's what I think so far. Um, you know, Bitcoin holding this price, not surprising. Because I, I, I was saying, you know, probably sometime next week, Bitcoin should have a pullback. So, yeah. And the longer that Bitcoin can hold prices at this level, the higher the chance that KoCoin could actually have a move up. Because it needs that momentum and that strength in the market to push KoCoin prices up. But when Bitcoin starts having its pullback and KoCoin can't move up, as the pullback happens and all the other altcoins go down in price, well, you would imagine Bitcoin is going to follow suit and go down in price too. That's what I'm thinking. And that's going to drag Bitcoin further down than the previous low, depending on how low Bitcoin goes. So, all right, everyone, as always, please take good care of yourself. Okay. Um, surround yourself with the right people. Praying for all of you in Jesus Christ's name. Uh, you know, be spiritually healthy, mentally healthy, physically healthy. Uh, and yeah, you know, I heard like 40% of small businesses in America last month in December couldn't struggle to pay rent. That's a sign the economy is still getting worse. Sure, you, you're going to hear nonsense on mainstream media like, you know, whatever mainstream media talk about how the consumer is still strong and there's you know um, the economy is getting better but they're getting paid to be shills right let's be realistic here so that's why if you can work work hard um and always try to improve whatever it is you you do for a living and yeah um surround yourself with the right people because unfortunately, I still think things will get worse before they get better. Um, and we'll probably see at least the first couple quarters of 2023, I would imagine, would be like that. I wish I had some good news. I, I, I do. I wish. All right, everyone. Love you guys. God bless all of you in Jesus Christ's name and Coke on.